many eyes from the motorsport world are on this young driver at the moment and Ferdinand Hasberg certainly proved why with his performance in the Asian Le Mans series taking the championship with the number 26 G drive that was a great performance from all of you actually wasn't it Ferdy? Yeah it was really cool uh, we kind of capitalized on our sort of straight out the box kind of pace in Dubai and then also we got quite lucky in the races so it was actually pretty uh, straightforward races for us and then uh, when we went to Dubai it, it changed a bit our competition certainly sharpened their tools a bit and uh, it all got a bit close at the end but uh, we kind of just had the confidence and uh, the, the the fun within the team so to win the championship was was certainly cool but I think the the best thing was kind of the the gelling we had and also the experience I gained. Uh, and actually that's it. How valuable was that for you as a driver to get that experience in the time when not so much racing is happening? Uh, extremely. I mean, look, fortunately for me, the car is reasonably similar to a DTM car. So uh, the speeds feel very similar. It's just a different driving style and also a whole different approach uh, going into an endurance program. But uh, overall, I'm just kind of... Uh, having fun with it that's always my number one priority is to enjoy it and I've got to be I was surprised at the things that I ended up enjoying more than others so uh, because it's just a completely different sport nearly so I'm uh, I'm learning a lot of stuff and uh, finding my strengths in new places. Um, what opportunities has this brought for you already? Um, yeah, so now I have, uh, I'm going to, I'm announcing that I am racing for WRT in the WEC program. It's obviously a team I'm very fond of and also know very well from last year in DTM. And uh, we've had some great successes together. So um, my race engineer last year is my race engineer this year. So we're very, very psyched. And uh, he early on sort of saw that there was quite a bit of potential in me in DTM and was very upset when the DTM program ended. Uh, because it meant we couldn't do another year together. But then somehow the universe spoke and uh, Vincent had announced he's doing WEC. And uh, as soon as I heard it, I was like on the phone with him, like, <laughs> you got to have me back, please. <laughs> and uh, I called often enough so that at some point you went, all right, fine, uh, come on. And uh, it took me on board and I'm very psyched to be joining uh, a friend of, a friend of mine, Robin, who's just for me an, an absolute top class driver and uh, sort of the the young silver driver Charles Malacy who I got to know a little bit at, at uh, Daytona. Uh, and uh, I understand that also it's brought other opportunities your way. Yeah uh, so uh, whilst I was in uh, in um, in Asian Le Mans I kind of got very unwell with with Stuart and uh, and Sam who run the team at of Algarve Pro and uh, whilst I was there, it's clearly just a good bonding feeling. And they asked me if I was interested to do ELMS. And so that's also uh, the latest news is that I did a deal in, uh, in, uh, out in, in the Emirates to, to join the team for the European Le Mans series, which is where they're just really strong, really good. And uh, I've seen what they are capable of and uh, in Asian. And I, hopefully that they enjoyed working with me as well, uh, saw what I'm capable of. And, uh, so that's really cool. I've got two exciting teams, two things uh, coming up and plenty of racing, to be fair, more than I ever thought I would be doing this year, which is awesome. So 2021, Asian Le Mans series, tick, you've got that. You've now got ELMS and WEC, which of course includes Le Mans as well. You couldn't yeah. ask for better right now, could you? No, yeah, I mean, the only thing that I was really bummed about so far was the Daytona race was when we uh, the gearbox failed after one hour because I really felt in my heart we could have won that as well because we were just quite had a strong lineup. Um, but uh, that we made it all up for winning straight away two races in Dubai, which, winning the championship in Asian Le Mans series, giving uh, a lot of confidence to start the season with. And um, yeah, I mean, the the. It, I sleep pretty well when I go to bed thinking there is a genuine chance I might be able to call myself world champion by the end of the year. Uh, I've never really had that chance before in my career that I could say that that that, that is a possibility. And uh, also to win the European Le Mans series, which is just so incredibly competitive um, with a team that I've grown so fond of. So uh, I, it's, a, it's a new, like a new season for me, like obviously new cars for me. But uh, I know the team well of WRT and I've gotten to know Argo Pro. So even though it's all new for me, in a way, I'm still sort of joining families that I feel like I've uh, interweaved quite well already with. 
So single seaters, you ever going to go back? <laughs> it's a funny okay, ask that question. And uh, like anybody can always has to say that you're never going to know. I think I've, I've found uh, a, a passion for sports car racing. Um, it started like three years ago when I went to Daytona for the first time. And um, back then I was still very much uh, dead set on trying to go to Formula One. Um, which is, you know, you never ignore like that, that sort of uh, uh, special side that Formula World does have. But uh, you still also always think about Le Mans and that's always been in my head as well. So I've ticked the box in DTM. That was, that was really important uh, and, and a huge step for me. And uh, when the opportunity came to join WRT to go to Le Mans and go to WEC, um, yeah, it's, it, it definitely as a racing driver, it tickles your fancy a little bit. Um, I was reading your bio uh, before this interview and I didn't realise, I mean, I remember the incident, Macau 2017. Now I've got to tell you, Alan McNish and I were watching that race as we sat on a balcony in Bahrain because it was WEC final round at the, at the same time, watching, oh my God, that epic battle. And I know you've probably spoken about it loads before, but that's actually where Vincent Voss, the boss of WRT, first found you, wasn't it? Yeah, he was uh, one of the first guys that like came up to me and, and uh, tried to console me because uh, he... Vincent is, is such a cool guy. He's such an old school racer, like a true racer. He, it's, not, it's not just a business for him. It's like his heart and passion is involved in it, which is why it's such a pleasure to race in his team. Uh, and he just, I don't know, he, when we spoke about it, it just kind of, we, we had a similar reaction of just like giving everything is, is something that, um, you know, you can always say that you gave everything in that quality, or you gave everything in that. Uh, in, but uh, sometimes, when it comes down to it, you uh, you either go for it or you don't. And uh, when you do, it's something definitely to be proud of, even uh, if, if it goes well or not, because uh, uh, it's totally changed my career or like changed uh, my life in many ways. So um, certainly, a day I, I I won't forget for very long. Well, I think we're going to be seeing lots of you, and as you say, there is an actual realistic chance of becoming world champion which is just awesome for you i'm really pleased thanks very yeah, thanks. much thanks thank you cheers